Hi, this is Matt with CoolMarketingSoftware.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you step one on how to use the OSClass Submitter. The first step you need to do is to register your accounts on all these sites. So what you do is you come to tab number one, account automatic account registration. You put your name. This can be your business name or your personal name. This will appear as publisher on the various sites. So this will be seen in public. So whatever you want to be seen in public, uh, you, representing the publisher of your ad, you put here your personal name or your business name. Next, you put your email here, right here. Then after that, you put the password for your email account. All right, this is going to be your login to all the sites, and it has to be the same for all the sites. We suggest the password which is at least eight characters long because they have to be the same on all the sites. So once you've put in your name, business name or personal name, your email address and the password for your email account, I'm talking about when you log into your email account, this is the password you use, put that in here and you click run. And now the software will go and register uh, accounts on all the different sites for you automatically. Now, as you see, it's going to go and fill in all the information for you. It's going to cre click create and it's going to create the account on the site. You'll have a little notice like this. The user has been created an activation email has been sent out and that's something we'll deal with in step two. So at this point, you just let the software do its thing and go from site to site registering accounts. It is as simple as that. That is step one on how to use OSClass Submitter. Next step two, we're going to confirm the accounts and I will show you that. All right, well, after you register your sites, software will, re will redirect to this page. And then the next thing I suggest you do is go to your email account. Now, I would also look here for emails like this. Please validate your classified account. And I would also suggest looking in your spam folder because sometimes they go to the spam. Like here's a couple that went to the spam and you know, we don't mark these not spam. Okay. So then we'll go back to the inbox and here they are. Now I had already uh, signed up for a lot of uh, these accounts already. So this is just a test, but anyways, you'll get a, a you know, about 10 of these. All right. From the different sites. Now, on Gmail, what you want to do is turn off conversation view. Conversation view is when they bunch up a lot of these uh, uh, all from the same people underneath one underneath each other. It, it's a good idea to turn off conversation view. So click the gear bo box here up here. Click settings. Go to conversation view and click turn off and then click save changes. Now what you could do is you can go here and click these links yourself if you want. It just takes a few seconds or the software will do it for you automatically. Now, if you want the software to automatically confirm the accounts for you, you need to turn off, um, turn on less secure apps on Gmail. So this is just for Gmail. So what you would need to do is you go to Google type Gmail less secured apps, and you need to be logged into your Gmail account for this and then click here. And then you'll be right here where you can turn on less secure apps. This only applies in Gmail. This allows the software to access your email account download the emails and click the links. Now here is step two. You click uh, confirm accounts. This is step two and secure incoming mail server for Gmail. This is pop.gmail.com. Incoming port for Gmail is 995. Now I've turned on less secure apps, which allows the software to uh, access the Gmail account and uh, I have also turned off conversation view. Now, if you're using another email account, you just find out from a, wherever, whatever service that is. And this is very easy to find your incoming mail server and your incoming port 
for your mail. Put your username and password for that email account that you use to sign up on all the sites and then you click run and it is going to download the, the emails and click them and confirm them for you. Now, with just 10 uh, emails, it might be just easier just to go to your email account and just click the link. So it just takes a few seconds. But if you want to use this option, you have this option. You can let the software click the links for you and it will go through just uh, you know one by one and confirm them. Okay. Now, on some of these, I've already uh, confirmed them. So you'll see notices that I've already confirmed them. All right because your account has already been validated. But when you go through it, it'll say your account has been validated. As you can see here, it says your account has been validated. So it just goes on and on throughout all the sites and clicks on them. If you haven't clicked on it already yourself, the, the software will click on it if you chose that method for confirmation. And you'll see your account has been validated right here. When you're done, it'll say, congratulations, your accounts have been confirmed. Again, it would just take you a few seconds to actually go into your email account and click those links. So uh, I kind of did this for when I'm going to be adding more uh, sites to it, to the database, which I will be doing. So you, you'll get those upgrades too if you've purchased the software. So uh, right now it's 10 sites. It's pretty easy just to click them yourself, but if you want to use the automatic confirmation, you can. So that is basically how it do, you do it. First, you come here. You register accounts on all the different sites, on the 10 sites that we have right now. Then, once the software is done registering, you know, you just put your name, email, password for your email account there, click run, that's it. It signs up for you. You don't have to fill out the form over and over again. You don't have to fill out any CAPTCHAs. That's all you have to do. Then, to confirm your accounts, you put the, your email, the password, for the email account right here, your incoming mail server, which for Gmail is pop.gmail.com, incoming port 995, you click run, it will confirm all the accounts for you, or just go to your email account and confirm them yourself. Uh, then also, if you're using Gmail, you have to turn on less secure apps and turn off conversation view as I showed you. All right. I hope this is clear. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do the automatic ad submissions and the options you have there. Thank you very much. This is Matt with coolmarketingsoftware.com. And this is the OS class submitter software.